Jedi Knight. Once I was at your place, and we were in your room with a few other cousins and your buddies. You and the older boys were playing Resident Evil. Hermano, your brother Pedro said, cool it. You're on fire. No shit, Sherlock. On screen, your character was slaying zombies like men. One hand wielded a mighty blue sword that decapitated beasts by the dozen. The other brandished some sort of giant machine gun that fired ten rounds a second. Each bullet passed through the chests of two zombies in a row at least. Usually, it was smooth. You finally sliced the last zombie in half, holstered your gun, and thrust your sword into its sheath. Now it got interesting. You jogged to the side of the field of undead, undead, and retrieved a blue pocket-sized machine from your belt. You pressed a button and tossed the device into the center of the bank with zombies. It hit the ground, ignited into a frosty yellow mist. Minutes passed. The zombie bodies began to shift. Arms pulled heads to severed necks at the speed water would turn to ice if you pissed into the freezing air of that snow planet hope in Star Wars 5. The Empire strikes back. <laughs> Shit, no! A friend of yours whined. No fair! His screen had been the first to fill with dripping red. Asshole! Pedro punched you in the shoulder. You grinned. Now, the zombies stood before you. An unending field of conquered peoples. Zombies under your command. <laughs> At this point, my mother popped in to see what all the cussing and yelling was about. And when she saw me doing the dog gate, just like the rest, she said to you, Geraldo Munez, you get here ahora. What the hell is this? She reached over, got you in a death grip, and flung you out the room. She pried me from the spot where I glued myself to the bed and held me like a mother grizzly protects her young. Geraldo, you playing these violent games with a ten-year-old around? She demanded of you. She shook her head and began to mutter to herself, Coño, niño, dio de gran puta. <laughs> I tagged along, unsure of what was wrong. Dia, you made your eyes big. I didn't see him. You saw him. You did. Don't lie to me. But, you sighed. It's just a game. It's not real. My mother pinched you in the arm. You flinched. Who are you to say what's real and what's not? Eh? You stood there, holding your arm, holding your arm like an undonto as my mother walked towards her back. She pulled two lightsabers from the back, put the first in your hand, and wrapped your stiff fingers around its warm hilt. She handed the second to me. My face lit, and I squeezed the lightsaber. She didn't have to force me to hold this. Oh, no, she didn't. I moved into position, beckoning with my free hand. <laughs> Let's fight. You shook your head. Oh, hell no, dear, hell no. I ain't gonna do some kitty crap. <laughs> My mother gave you the look. <laughs> the one every mother's got. The one that burns through your soul and squeezes you go deep in the hunger from your brain. <laughs> the one you know you don't want to sit around with. <laughs> I turned from her to you, to her to you. Let's fight! I exclaimed, not knowing what to do. Jewel! I extended my plastic lightsaber. It was the green one. My favorite. <laughs> you made your eyes bigger and face my mother, but she wouldn't give. You play with your cousin like you ought to, Geraldo. You hear me? You shrunk and entered Spanish mode. Si, dear, looking to dear, to dear, entiendo, dear. The hell you do, my mother shot back. She stopped out. Behind you. I could see Pedro and the other boys peeking through your bedroom door, which you left ajar. Playtime, Jedi. <laughs> you turned once. This would be the only time you would face them again that day and yell, Shut the up! Oh. You face me. I? So how does this work? You fumbled your plastic blade out. It was perfect, like Mace Windu's. I always thought Mace Windu was hit, since he was the only black Jedi. One step from Ladino. <laughs> he was also the first important good guy Darth Vader helped kill. But that's a matter you got to take up with George Lucas. And George Lucas has got the whole clone army, remember? You don't mess with him.
I moved my lightsaber about and you followed. Once I saw your eyes spin a little too far to the side. I swung my weapon into your crotch. Kicked. Easy, Miguel. You put a hand between your legs. Don't play rough. I jabbed my lightsaber at your bedroom door. You did. I smiled. Innocent. Honest. You rolled your eyes. Dark suns arching over pale skies. Nevertheless, they were soon glowing moons that reflected the brilliant white light around them. In the space of an instant, you changed, forgotten your brother Pedro and the rest. Shut your mouth, you said, grinning. You hit me in the nuts one more time until it be up. I flung the tip of my lightsaber toward, lightsaber toward yours. She won't believe you, I teased. <laughs> you shrugged it off, and we spun. You're good, I concluded. You're like a... Uh, I paused, realizing the sheer gravity of what I was about to say. <laughs> You're like a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs>